so hello everyone welcome to programming knowledge so in this video we are going to learn how we can make a custom bottom bottom navigation bar so without wasting any time let's move on to our today's topic so as you can see this are this is our old code which we used like for other videos so like this is the page so what we are going to do we are going to make a bottom navigation view a bottom navigation bar for our application so how we can make it so before that let's we can do one more thing let's just add the simulator okay so as you know we need to import the package before we can use it so let's just import so this is downloaded first it is already there okay so it is already there let's just do one thing Yeah, so we got it. Then let's just add the context field. Then all the Maya. So just save it. Go back to it. Okay. So it's taking time. So now we can see. Our simulator is there, so we will add a bottom navigation bar. So the very first thing that we will require, like first we have to define how many pages or how many bottom navigation items we are we are going to use. So we are going to use three of them. So I will just make a folder, call it pages, and then we'll create a new dart file. Call it first, and I will just name them first, second, third. So let's just give them first, second, and the third one. So the third. One. After that, let's just make one class and extend it. The stateless widget. Then also make the method. Then return the scaffold. So now all the three pages are done. So what we are going to do, we are coming back to the page in which we are going to make the navigation bar. We are just going to define a list of widgets. So let's just make a list of widgets and we will name it screens. Then in the screen, we will call all the classes basically all the widgets which we created right now so now you can see i'm calling all the widgets so it's done now we also need one index field so let's just make a index field in index equals to zero let's suppose and give it a zero now what we are going to do now from here a step is going to start so we are going to write the bottom navigation bar we have an attribute in the scaffold then we are not going to use the bottom navigation bar right now we are going to like we can use the bottom navigation bar but this will this won't be the custom one so let's make a custom one we are going to use a container and the height we i am giving 100 and the width i am giving double dot infinity so that it will take the whole screen size now i want to give a color Let's just give a decoration. Decoration. I will give a box decoration and the color. The color will be the white. So, okay, this much is done. Then we are going to use a child in which we are going to use the row. Now we are going to use children and the last thing what we are going to use. We are going to make the icons only. So the first icon, icons dot. 
the first icon is O and the size should be and let's keep the size 30 so it's a let's just double it the second page will be the add icon and the third page it will be the contact icon so not contact icon basically like just make it call icon so it's done this much is also done just we want to give the alignment so i am going to give the main axis alignment to space around then just save it and go back to our app so now you can see there are three icons below so let me quickly give them the color black so now you can see now it is same so maybe like the height is more so let's just only give 80 yeah so it is perfect now what we are going to do so now on this page should be changed always like this custom navigation bar should not be there so let me quickly remove this action button also like we don't need it and we also don't need the body the navigation bar over here we are just going to pass a simple container now you can see this this is a basic app ui so what you are going to do we are going to pass the home screen over here so how to do that so what you are going to do instead over here just come to the list one the list which you created screens screens and in the index field you can write zero but it won't be like it won't get changed dynamically so you have to write the index so it's done and now you can see the home page is there like i have said the default background color black so it is giving black in the home page class so like whenever we are creating on this icon the add icon so it should change the middle part of the page so how we can do it so the very first thing what you have to do you have to use some kind of gesture detector so let's just on the icon i am doing one thing and which is called like this let me just first reformat this code okay so in the icon field i'm going to like instead of icon i'm going to use button i can button so I have to make few changes very quickly. So now you can see this that I have made the icon button. So it will take one more thing on pressed and um, just so this is how which we are we are going to create this two also as an icon button. So now you can see it's done. So what we have to do we have to just call the set state method and inside that we have to change the index now what will be the index like home icon is the first so we are going to use a zero so if we want to go to the add page so where is the add page add page is the second one and in the screen the second one is the first is at first index so let's just go for first and over here we are going for second so let's just save it so let's just wait yeah okay it's it so now whenever i'm clicking on this add icon so my page should be changed and whenever whenever i'm clicking on the contact page so the page should be changed so okay so like we forgot one thing and that is the set state method so let's just put the set state method then save it after saving it go back to it then on click of add icon you can see the page is changed and on click of all icon the page is changed just a second let me quickly make this to yellow so that it won't give the other effect so like this whenever i'm clicking on the pages so it's giving me the proper page which i'm selecting now one more thing you can do that is like how to like if we are on this page how we will know so either we can increase the size or we can change the color so what we are going to do we are going to change the color basically so instead of 
white we are going to put it to black so how to do so in the colors field what we are going to write over here we are going to write if basically we are going to have ternary operators like if the index equals to equals to zero if the index equals to equals to zero then make it black and if it is not make them white so it's simple the big logic is simple just copy this and paste it everywhere so this over here also over here just always remember to change the index of the particular item so like over here we are going to put it to second save it and come back to it so now you can see this is the icon which whose color is changed so let's click on this one now you can see its icon color changed and when i'm clicking on this its icon color changed so you can do this also and one more thing you can do and that is like instead of icon button you can use the column and in the column field you can use the main exercise as the minimum so that it won't take too much space and and the icon button what you can like go just below this you can add one text field and in the text that we will return home and the text style the color should be white or we can go for the same logic so let's just copy this and paste it over here yeah so it's done and also we are going to use the same logic for the font size also if the index dad if the index equals to equals to zero then the font size should be basically 14 only but if it is not okay so i have enclosed the expression so if it is like if it is selected just make it to system so that it's look bigger than others and the uh, cross axis alignment of the basically our item should be center so it is done so now how it will look we can check it so before it now you can see that our we have the labels labels also so see this is how we can make our app so like you can do one more thing and this is the last thing which i am going to show you and that is over here in the text field what you can do you can write if the index equals to equals to to the second if it is then show the label and if it is not just show a empty container so that like if we select it so at that time only the label should be displayed or else it should not so like almost we are done over here so let's just paste it to every field and the condition basically the front condition So now you can see if we select any item so the only who that's item label will be shown so this is how we can make our custom bottom navigation bar so easily so that's it for today's video thank you